Welcome to the school run Malawi style. In the seventh poorest country in the world, educational resources are already overstretched. And that was before the recent population boom, which now means that nearly half of Malawians are under the age of 14. There are a huge number of children in the classroom, 90 per teacher on average, and in some schools there are classes of 300 or more. This is the solution, at least according to one charity. It's something called the One Billion app. For half an hour a day, each child gets a special maths teacher all to themselves. It's been developed by Andrew Ash, who, with his long connection with Malawi and his business developing language teaching apps, thought this might make the difference. Children are taken out of their class a few at a time and each given a tablet running the app. It only takes a few minutes to learn and all the instructions are in the local language, Chichewa. The app assumes kids have had no previous formal maths learning and crucially each can progress at their own rate. Learning is broken down into fun tasks and easy steps and there's a test at the end of each level. If you pass, you get a certificate and you can move on to the next. The kids in the small groups trialling this programme have found in a short time their scores are not simply improving, they are rocketing. Now, this project is a little different from the similar schemes we've seen before because it caught the attention of researchers at Nottingham University in the UK and they wanted to try a little experiment. Back home, they decided to test out the app they'd seen in Malawi on children in this Nottingham school. After translating the app into English, it was handed out to these four and five-year-olds here at the Dunkirk Primary School. Group learning was carried out in the same way as in Malawi, daily 30-minute sessions with their progress monitored. Now in Malawi, the choice is an app teacher or almost no teacher attention at all. But surely here, where schools have far more resources, this app wouldn't make that much of a difference. Well, it turns out it did. Nottingham University's study found that six weeks using the app accelerated the maths learning of these children by between 12 and 18 months. So what was incredible about this was that in both countries we saw the same gain. One week um, of working on the iPads for 30 minutes a day led to three months of formal education. I mean, that, that sounds incredible. How did, you, how did you feel when you saw those results? Well, we were amazed. One thing that the Malawian and British children have in common is that neither started with any formal maths learning. That seems important, but why did it get such good results? So one of the reasons I think the app works is that the children get immediate feedback on, um, on, on getting a question right. Um, if they don't get it right, they can't progress. But when they do get it right, they get a big yellow tick and they get an, a nice ping. And that immediate feedback is really rewarding to the children. When you get close, when you get them all, you, you can win a certificate. Oh no, what are we, we going to do now? Do you like playing these computers? Yeah? It's not computers, iPads. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How many clocks does each child have? And those rewards were doing their job for sure. Yes. But even if the children enjoy using the tablets, is it right to encourage it? After all, many parents are trying to cut down their kids' screen time. We found that after half an hour, most of the children said, you know, no, we've had enough now. We want to go and carry on playing because uh, they love playing outside. They love playing with each other. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. He's busy. My little boy goes to school very soon, so I'm a nervous parent and I'm worried whether he's going to be learning enough and whether he's going to have enough fun. And I'm sure these guys, for the rest of each day, 
do have a riot and throw things and make things, but what's really interesting is the half hour that they spend doing this each day seems to be really quiet and really focused. I really do get the feeling that they are actually learning stuff here. Kids in the UK have a future guaranteed to be more or less connected to technology like this. In Malawi, that is far from the case. But One Billion believes its ambition of teaching the entire nation's children just the very basics in maths will have a profound effect on their future. If you haven't got access to basic education, if you're not even numerate, you can't do anything. Even selling tomatoes at a market stall is denied you. So these children, it's so important that they get these basic skills. And numeracy is a key skill, a fundamental, it's almost a human right. Running this app nationwide in Malawi will certainly be a challenge. But after seeing plenty of technologies being stripped to basics and repurposed for use in the developing world, it is refreshing to see that something originally made for Africa can work just as well in the rest of the world too.